Hi everybody, I'm Ramona and this is my campsite. This is an awesome new purchase. It's staked down, fits into this and has the five, it has five stakes. So the four and it has been awesome. It, it's sand and dirt repellent. I can see that. And water repellent. I have only had this a few weeks now. I did the first camp out with you. When was that in November? Mm -hmm. And I came in my Hyundai Tucson just to see if I liked you people <laughs> <laughs> and that I really liked hanging out like this and I loved it. A 2020 Chrysler Pacifica Limited. My goal is to be able to travel from Jacksonville, where I live right now, to Texas and to Maine and visit family. So what I'm envisioning is being able to take all my stuff when I get to wherever I'm going to be, uh, take it and put it in someone's garage, turn this back into the granny van, and then I'm good to go. And by the way, highly recommend these pants. They're, you can close these for help preventing chiggers. I'm sorry, let me get down. Like that, I usually do that first thing in the morning, which will And keep. that, I'm going to get the brand there. It's a bay leaf. That's what it looks like. B-A-L-E-A-F. And uh -huh. where do you find those? And they're like on Amazon. Oh, they're such they're, soft. And they dry quickly. I think they're designed for fishing. So they have this pocket, this one, this one. So they're a good fit. They're comfortable. I have two Stretchy. pairs and I live in them. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have to get those too. The reality of this life is that you always have things everywhere. This is my little kitchen area. I too have bread, my coffee set up there, and I just do hot water. And so I have this thing that I put on my coffee cup. Mm -hmm. I use their paper filters that are designed for this. I mm -hmm. think they're the number twos or something. And that's all I need. Because all mm -hmm. I'm doing is heating water or whatever I'm doing, or heating a can of chili or stew or something. It's butane, not propane. Right. I usually think of that type bottle yeah. as a propane. That's actually isobutane. Yeah. Glacier. Okay. It is a glacier camp stove. Tiny. Mm -hmm. Nice. This is the dehumidifier, but it's rechargeable. So you And there's no water to empty. Right, not messy. You just plug it in, mm -hmm. and I guess it dries it out. Eva Dry, E V A Dry, and they do have them on Amazon. So mm -hmm. look for the smaller one if you have a small rig. A I M O X A. Mm -hmm. And I've seen smaller ones and different ones, but this is a uh, it's a lamp and a mosquito thing with bopper. Two hours before I go to bed, while we're doing other stuff, I close everything up, turn that on, and apologize to the mosquitoes that are going to, to die, die. <laughs> yes. the what do they call lucy, lucy lights that you blow up so it'll go yeah it'll go flat it's solar or usb and you've seen from other videos how to make these right and it just sits the groove sits right on the glass there and the upper part just fits right in where the glass would have gone. So it fits mm -hmm. perfectly as long as you cut it to the right length to fit the window. And then I will say I did add from WeatherTech the rain guards because uh, when the window's cracked a little bit and it starts to rain, you don't want it coming in. So if you've locked the car, but you have a dog in there and you want to leave ventilation for the dog, no one can see that the window's partly open. One of the tricks to this life that, that you just have to get better and better, and like I said, this is only my third time camping, and this is the second time for this vehicle, mm -hmm. is finding that perfect place for everything so that you're not having to remember where are the, for example, where are the scissors? Yeah. Where Kitchen, just the kitchen towels. There's, you know, my favorite seasonings. I always bring way more food than Not I need. Not a bad idea. No, you know, zombies happen. <laughs> Fruit, snacks. Why do you get in on the other side? What's the reasoning? I've always wondered and no one's ever told me. Well, I'm going to explain it. Oh, good. Okay as to why I set it up this way. 
number one, you see I have the little living room situation going. Mm -hmm. And so, it, and I do sit there and I prop my feet up on this over here. And I'm in there, I sit there for a couple hours at a time. I, I'm so cozy in there. The middle row seat right here can be pulled up without any of this having to come out. Mm -hmm. And that's where my grandson's car seat goes. We've got a shower curtain down here to keep the dust out, don't so, you? So, yes, I never throw away shower curtains when I use them because they make great tarped, a big sheet of plastic. Mm -hmm. and you can wash them in the washing machine. This is where my uh, cooler is living. Ideally, I would like to eventually have a small refrigerator and with power. This is just a regular cooler. I've got my boiled eggs, my salad. One of the things I did figure out, I took a little shelf, one of those things, and put it under there, so mm -hmm. I put ice under that. Good idea. And then you were talking about you did um belly dance yeah and i said i did a little bit too this was my little oh your hip scarf my hip scarf oh, and i thought i just always have it hanging somewhere yeah my trash system and this may go out once or twice a day depending on what goes in it mm -hmm. and this uh type of pacifica has a moon roof for the third row it's got a moon roof for the second row and it's got a moon roof for the front row Reality of life. Yes, this is the I always have my big flashlight that I keep near the door and This is my nighttime emergency potty only. I love this thing. Oh it's a Camco Camco toilet bucket the special bags come with a powder that turns things to gel and Also, I add the either cat litter pine pellets. Mm-hmm. There is zero smell yes <laughs> and this is the other thing that i just think is a must i don't care what kind you have yep and this needs to not be one of those things of oh where did i put that yeah you don't have time for that no my toiletry bag which i just love this thing and then this is my bathroom bag basically that's where i just keep the toilet paper and wipes you know the Mm -hmm. Those, just in case. Those look like the adult wipes. Are they the bigger ones? Yeah. Those I like. Yeah. And these have aloe and they're quilted. So these are always handy to have everywhere for kids or adults. Or Is some... that an emesis basin or is that a pee basin? <laughs> that is a ugh. emesis basin. This is where my trash bags live. The bed is just a regular Camco uh, cot. And you can see down here, levelers or something else. I When I gave up RV life, I thought, oh, I'll never need those again. Mm. Oh, no, I want a set of levelers. They only take up like this much space. Mm -hmm. And I think for, you know, your car or, uh, you know, especially in people's driveways, they're not always flat. I've used them under my cot. So um, this, and then I have my, there's a yoga mat and a camping mat. Okay. And then when I was here last time in November, I ran out and bought that. Mm -hmm. And then these are just good comforters. You see the pillows up here? Mm -hmm. These are my clothes and things. So there's my shirt, socks, underwear, head thing to cover my ears, gloves. I have multiple fans. So this one, and I had two of these. Oh, it's on. This is a uh, USB charge and it has the battery this little piece fell off but this these are awesome that brand they have a lot of things oh polar yes mm -hmm. and then this i've actually given these as gifts because they're image they're great this is battery a couple of d batteries those big d batteries mm -hmm. those should last a while it's a light and a fan and it's adjustable It'll, oh, yeah. it'll stand up or you can hang it up. So that's or lay cool. it down probably. So or lay it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've done that. There you go. Mm -hmm. This is my power bag. So batteries. This is my brand. You were looking at those lights mm -hmm. earlier that are solar. Okay. A-O-O-T-E-K. Mm-hmm. And they're, they're the solar. solar. And 
motion, their motion sensor, or you can set them to be on, trying to prevent mice and critters. Putting the motion sensor, like at least at the four corners. Mm -hmm. This is how I carry all of my charging stuff. See this brand here? This is a little hand warmer. O-C-O-O-P-A, Okupa. Okay. okay. And I got it off Amazon. There it is. Oh, oh there's the charging. hand warmer. Mm -hmm. What I do is I have everything, and by the way, I have the emergency radio up in the door. But I have everything, or many, most Bug things. Bug zapper lamp. <laughs> like, because, like, what does this go to? What is that? And some of them are so similar, it's kind of hard exactly. to know. So this is the garage under here. I have, uh, there's hiking boots and my rain boots. This I love because it sits there. It sounds, I put that, that sits like right there. Uh -huh. But it's batteries. And it's had the same set of batteries in since I bought it. Oh, too cool. Mm-hmm. Okay. What about uh, meetups? Have you you've been to two yeah. now, right, three. or more? Three. Three. So I've been to your two, and then I went to the hundred bands in Deland, and I've just made so many friends. Yeah. It's like my little sanctuary. So you don't have any anxiety doing this, then, right? No. No. No fear. No, and uh, one of the things you said about why you, how you chose your butterfly tracks name, I got tickled my, my sons. Let's see who all can see where I am. Follow me at all times. I think it's uh, both my, both my sons, their wives, and uh, at least one of my sisters can see where I am at all times. And it, it just makes me feel good to know. Okay, they're it's, checking on me. Yeah, it's like they're almost like they're there. Yeah, and and that's really all I need is like just make sure that I've moved, you know, when you think I'm supposed to move. Yeah, that's a good thing. 2 or 3 years before I retired, I realized I'm going to have an okay retirement for taking care of myself, but my children and my grandchildren are spread out across the country. I needed to figure out a way to travel. So that's when I thought about RV life. I watched so many YouTube videos for years and took notes and attended classes and went to, to RV shows and attended their classes and it was awesome. And then I bought a class C, 24 foot class C and lived in it for a year. And I didn't do a lot of driving because it's just too big for me. It's, that's too much for me. I don't want to be spending my money on systems. So, the, and the constant vigilance of it just was making me anxious. So then I started seeing the van life thing and I was like, okay, now that looks cool. Again, the no systems. Then I started seeing the car camping and the minivans. And you know, I found your channel and Minivan Lee. They're doing more than I need, but that might work. So that is what I'm currently in the process of trying to figure out. And I think it's going to work, especially since discovering this vehicle with the stow and go seats. This year will be the telling year of, can I make this work for me? If this doesn't work, I don't know. I'm just gonna have to say I'm old. Y'all gonna have to come to me.